Overlord Season 4, Episode 9. So, the king's about to, uh, you know, dip. Uh, that was a big thing at the end. After credit scene, whoever told me to check out the after credit scene, I appreciate you. That was wild. Um, <clears throat> I don't know what the repercussions of this is. Is it going to advance the plan of Ainz or Demiurge at this point of Nazarick in general? Is it going to advance that plan since now we're going to have control if this king dies, it will go to the sun. And we know the sun is basically being manipulated and or being directed by Renner, who is part of Nazarick at this point in time. Um, but yeah, let's we'll see where it goes and what this carrot and the stick truly means. Okay, we're replaying the start, the, the after credit scene. <clears throat> oh, what a play. All right, two minutes. Open the OP real quick. Oh, yep. Okay, so carrot and the stick. Stick meaning the wrath of Ainz Ulgon. <clears throat> oh no. Oh, <laughs> Renner's right there, but yeah, we never thought someone would be stupid enough to actually go against us. <laughs> Oh, directly. We didn't think someone would be stupid enough to actually do that. It's because they can just teleport it. They can just, you saw what they did. They teleported like how many undead to the, to the season three goat scene. Like this is, they can do it at any time. Oh, that was the time stop, the time stop uh, ability. Damn, is Brain gonna die this season? Oh, we advanced real quick. Pretty bit a month. 
Wait, what have they been doing? So, are we like... What? Oh. Yeah, that'll do it. Yep, that will do oh, that'll do it. You've been wiping out villages? <laughs> the fact that he can say that so casually it's, it's it's wild it really makes you remember like he's not <laughs> the hero here yes Demiurge sure <laughs> sure sure Demiurge that's it <laughs> how much do how much are you guys betting that um that Ion's actually just messed up? <laughs> like it seems like the other floor guardians assigned regions were wiped, like completely wiped the cities with the people and massacred them all. But Ion's areas, some people leaked out and survived. How much do you bet that is due to <laughs> just Ion's like, oh <laughs> I messed up. Oh no. <laughs> But he's going to play it off as something like, oh, this is all part of the master plan. Again, just and the mirror is going to be like, oh my god, I can't, can't believe it. <laughs> the 1%. The 1% chance. Freaking love it. <laughs> is that it? Oh, maybe. Whoa. Ligretto and Pistonia. Why was she banned? Well, why, why is she banned? What? She's a sister? Well, that's kind of a that's kind of a big thing. This is Albedo's sister. Wait a second. That's like pretty huge. Albedo's sister. What? Excuse me. Oh, what the? Her face. Okay, sure.
Wait, what? Whoa. This is this is refreshing. There's people in Nazareth that actually support like humans that don't think they're absolute scum of the earth like every other guardian does. We have the empathetic faction of the of the tomb of Nazareth right here. This is, this is I didn't know this was a thing. But I like it. I like it. <laughs> so again, Sebas is pretty cold. <laughs> he has his he has his biases, but he's pretty cold. Yeah. Yep. 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 <laughs> she forgot she forgot the wolf. <laughs> yeah. Like the already the orcs. Not the orcs, sorry. The dwarves, the lizards. Having multiple different perspectives is important for a organization like this. My bad. So he didn't flunk. He didn't mess up. It was actually, it was actually, um, Pistonia, Sebas, and Negreto chiming in in order to protect at least some of the humans and not wipe out their whole civilization. Whoa. Hey, it's a girl from the OP. Except she was wearing the helmet, but that's like her. That's the same armor. This man seems a bit too happy about something pretty grim. <laughs> oh, they got two death knights. Yeah, this man is pretty relaxed. <laughs> Just coming in.
So, so they're mithril. That is that higher or lower than adamantite? Pretty sure that's lower, right? Let's see how a mithril adventurer fights against the undead or the death knights. Ooh. What the heck? Whoa! Is she... Is she a... Is she a... a is she, um, nah, never mind. Never mind. Don't ignore me. Yeah, okay. Yeah, I definitely ignore me. Don't. Oh, wow. Disgusting. Disgusting. Ooh. I feel bad for the guys in that mithril group. Jeez. That is one creepy ass lady. Even if it's a joke, that's creepy. Come on now. Uh, it wasn't a joke. <laughs> she really is just weird. Damn. These were just like, these were probably just people that uh, were trying to escape the villages. Now <laughs> they just turned into zombies and now are getting shot down. Here we go. Death Knight. I forgot what level a Death Knight is. It is, is it in the 40s? The 50s? Whoa! Oh, that mithril adventure can do something. Oh, no, he can't. Wait a second. That was kind of cool. Fireball! Like a bell from Danmachi. This is not their trump card, no. I wish it was. <laughs> you guys would have a chance if it was. And there's another one waiting in the back. You gonna face it head on? Damn, that's ballsy. Oh, that sounded like it did damage. Does lightning, is lightning effective against death knights? Damn, she's, she's maxed out now. Oh, that's really cool. She has like a, a mirage of her sword or her axe. She can use it. Yeah, she can use it too. Wow. That's cool. Damn, just like the just like the warrior. Just like Gazef. Oh. Wow. 
Watch out. Damn. That priest saved her, saved her life. She would have gotten cut in half right there she, during her backflip. Wait. Noise. Who's that? Utility man. Oh no. Oh no. Other death knights coming. And he's out of it. Oh no. I kind of don't want this group to die. Not yet. We just met him. I guess two people are gonna die. Two people are gonna die. Whoa. Who is that? Was that the was that the was that the guy? The guy who was giving up his son? Whoa, whoa! What? One shot. What in the Gundam is that? What? What? This fucker's got a fuck. What? what? Who is this guy? Have we? Have we finally met someone from the from from? Have we finally met a player? Have we met a player? Adamantite. Okay. What? He did it with one shot. <laughs> Freaking Ides, man. He's like, yep. <laughs> Calculated. <laughs> I knew that was coming. <laughs> now everyone's going to be like, oh my gosh, Ides, am I? Impossible. How did you know? All right, let's again check the end. Make sure there's nothing at the end. All right, nothing at the end. That was. Wow. We finally met this Gundam. We, we, this is possibly the episode where we met a player. Or just a really strong Gundam wielding adventure. I would really like to know his backstory, how he picked up a Gundam type thing. How does he have a gun? That's like from the future tech. From from freaking Cyberpunk 2077. I would like to know how he got that. Uh yeah. Uh I really want to watch the next episode. And dang. That was that was Oh, just killed the death knight with one swift blow, huh? So yeah. Hopefully you all enjoyed watching with me and uh, join me for the next episode. We'll see y'all then.